Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show to you how to fill up two tables for complex statements. In here, I'll give you three examples from simple to a complex one. Now let's start with our discussion. Let's work on this one, not of A or Q. The good method, even though not the fastest, is to evaluate each connective one by one. Because of the parentheses in here, let us evaluate this disjunction connective first before evaluating this negation connective. That is, let us evaluate A or Q first before applying the negation connective on the results of A or Q. So we have here our skeleton for our truth table. So for those who are not yet so familiar with the truth table, the first two columns contains all possible truth value combinations of our primitive statements. What are primitive statements? Primitive statements are statements that cannot be decomposed further into simpler statements like A and Q. And we know that A statement can have only true and false truth values. In this column, A can have true and false truth values. And for each truth value of A, Q can have truth values of true or false. So when A is true, Q can have true and false truth values, and when A is false, Q can also have true and false truth values. So these first two columns contains all possible combinations of truth values of A and Q. Now let us evaluate this disjunction connective, that is A or Q. So we have this one. Remember that the disjunction of A and Q is true if and only if either A or Q is true or both A and Q are true. In the first row, both A and Q are true, therefore A or Q is true. In the second row, A is true, therefore A or Q is true. In the third row, Q is true, therefore A or Q is true. And in the fourth row, neither A nor Q is true, therefore A or Q is false. Now in this column, we can apply the negation of this A or Q. Remember that the negation connective inverts the truth value of our statement from true to false and from false to true. So the truth values in here is the inversion of the truth values in here. So if this is true, then this is false. If this is true again, this is false. And again, if this is true, then it is false. But if this is false, then it is true. Then these are our truth values for our complex statement, not of A or Q. Now let us work on more complicated one. A and B implies A or B. Now because of the parentheses, we need to evaluate this conjunction or this disjunction connective first before this implication connective. But if there is no parentheses, it should be obvious that we need to evaluate these two connectives first before this implication. This is because of the order of precedence. So let me show you the order of precedence for the operators in mathematical logic. In here, it shows the order of precedence of operators in mathematical logic. Negation connective has the highest precedence, followed by the disjunction and the conjunction connectives, and the implication and the biconditional connectives. Now, in case that this disjunction and the conjunction connective are present in the sentence and they are adjacent to each other, separated by a single statement, then we should expect a parenthesis, otherwise such statement is not correct. So let us go back with our complex statement. So in here, regardless of the parenthesis, we need to evaluate either this conjunction or this junction connective first before this implication. So let us now have this skeleton for our two table. So let us evaluate this conjunction first, that is conjunction of A and B. Then let us evaluate next the disjunction of A and B. Then after that, let us evaluate the implication of this statement to this statement. So for A and B, remember that this A and B is true whenever both A and B are true. Otherwise, it is false. In the first row, both A and B are true, therefore A and B is true. But in the second, third, and the last row, either A is false or B is false, therefore a and B are false in the second, third, and the last row. So we have here false, false, and false. Now for this A or B, 
Remember that A or B is true if either A or B is true or both A and B are true. So for the first row, both A and B are true, therefore A or B is true. In the second row, A is true, therefore A or B is true. In the third row, B is true, therefore A or B is true. And in the fourth row, neither A nor B is true, therefore A or B is false. Now let us evaluate the implication of this statement to this statement. Remember that this implication is false only if this statement is true while this one is false. Otherwise, it is true. But observing the truth values in here, there's no case such that this one is true while this one is false. Therefore, for all rows, this implication is true. So we have here true, 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 and true. So we have now our final truth values for this A and B implies A or B. Now, this type of statement where all its truth values are true is called tautology, and we will have a special treatment for that in the succeeding videos. So now, let us proceed with the more complex one. Let us evaluate this one, not of P and not R, if and only if not R or S. So let us have this skeleton for that. As you can see, we have here three primitive statements. We have P, R, and S. And we have here eight rows. The reason for that, that is why we have eight rows, is that for each statement, we have two possible truth values, true and false. And since we have here three statements, then we need two raised to three rows, that is eight rows. Now, based on order of precedence, this negation connective has high order than this conjunction connective. Therefore, we need to evaluate this not R first before this conjunction connective. And in here, we need to evaluate this not R first before this disjunction connective. So let us evaluate this not R first. So we have here not R. And remember that this negation connective inverts the truth value of this statement. Therefore, what we're gonna do in here is to inverse the truth value of this R. So R is true, therefore this is false, true, then we have false, false, we have here true, false, we have here true, true, we have here false, true, we have here false, then we have here false, true, and then finally false, we have here true, that is inversion of the truth values in here. Now let us evaluate this conjunction connective, P and not R, that is conjunction of this P and not R. Remember that this conjunction connective is true only if and only if this P and not R are both true. Otherwise, it is false. So in the first row, true and false is false. True and false is false. True and true is true. True and true is true. False and false is false. False and false is false. False and true is false. And false and true is false. Then let us evaluate this negation connective that is negating this statement. So what we're going to do in here is to inverse the truth value of this. So when this is false, then we have true, false, true, true, false, true, false, false. Then we have true, false, we have true, false again, we have true, and finally false, we have here true. So we just invert the truth values of this from true to false and from false to true. Now, let us evaluate this one, that is the disjunction of this not R, which has the truth values in here, and this S. Remember that the disjunction of not R and S is true if and only if either not R or S is true or both not R and S are true. So we have here not R and S, so false and true is true, false and false is false. True and true is true. True and false is true. False and true is true. False and false is false. True and true is true. And true and false is true. Now let us evaluate this biconditional connective. Remember that this biconditional connective is true if and only if the truth values of this one and this one are the same, that is, either both true or both false. So for this row, they are both true, therefore it is true. In here, they are not the same, therefore false. 
in here they're not the same false in here they're not the same false in here they're the same therefore true in here they're not the same therefore false in here they are the same therefore true and in here they are the same therefore true so now we have our truth values for our complex statement now i'll show you another method which is sometimes faster so what I'm going to do is to first copy the truth values from here to here. So for P, we have true, 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 true. And we have here false, 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 and false. For R, we have true, true, false, 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 false. We have true. True, false, false, true, true, false, false, and S is true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Then I can evaluate the truth values of each connective. So not is inversion of the truth values. So we have here false, false, true true, false, false, true, true. That is inversion of the truth values in here. Then again evaluate the conjunction. So we have here true, false, which is false, true, false, false, true, true is true, true, false, 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 and false. Then again evaluate this negation connective. That is inversion of the truth values in here. So we have here true, true, false, false, true, 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 and true. Then in here, let us evaluate this negation connective. So we have here false, false, true, true, false, false, true, true. That is inversion of the truth values from here to here. Then let us evaluate this disjunction connective. So false and true is true. False, false is false. True and true is true. True, false is true. False and true is true. False and false is false. True and true is true. True and false is true. Then let us evaluate the biconditional connective. We have here true and true is true. We have here false and true is false. True and false is false. True and false is false. True and true is true. False and true is false. True and true is true. Then we have true and true is true. So let us encircle our final truth values. So these are now our truth values for our complex statements. So that's it. It is the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed this video and the next video as well. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.